It was a new sign of hope for those pushing towards an investigation into murdered and missing Aboriginal women. Yesterday, Justice Minister Peter McKay opened the door to the possibility of a roundtable discussion. It seemed to be a change of heart for a government that has repeatedly rejected requests for a national inquiry into the issue. The issue is one that stirs great emotion in our region, with numerous cases of murdered and missing Indigenous women. But now it appears Minister McKay has had an about face. <laughs> Along this stretch, women have gotten into vehicles never to be seen again. That's how the 16 became known as the Highway of Tears. When he lived in the Bulkley Valley, Ross Hoffman saw the impact firsthand. Trauma and pain that this has caused families, that it, it's, it's, it's a paramount issue for, for, for the families of the, of the missing women and the murdered women, but also for um, the communities as a whole. Canada's premiers pushed the federal government for a national inquiry. That the progress that is underway must continue. Uh, that includes meetings and consultations for certain and, and could include uh, a roundtable of sorts. The Ministry of Justice seems to have changed its tune, saying, quote, we don't need yet another study on top of the some 40 studies that have already been done. Now isn't the time for more talk, now is the time for action. A roundtable is action. And I think that this is an essential, vital, important issue, especially for us who live in the north. So I think, you know, that would be part of the, the idea of, of, of a national inquiry, you know. For Tribal Chief Terry TG, the pain couldn't get any closer. His cousin, Ramona Wilson, was hitchhiking from Telqua to Smithers. She was found murdered. You don't forget about it and you want to do something about it. And I think for me, um, I'm more in more for the proactive and trying to do something rather than sitting back and just um, let these go by. TG is still holding out hope for a national roundtable. Well, I think anything would work right now in terms of, of just keeping this issue, um, you know, alive. The hurt is too deep. The um you know, the fear that's around this, this, this human issue, it's not going to go away. So as Ottawa backpedals... Let's be clear, we've not stopped at any time uh, proceeding to address some of the underlying causes. The push for action on missing and murdered women isn't likely to fade. Camille McDonald, CKPG News.